Welcome back to GR Columbian Emeralds. Today we're going to be talking about the differences between Colombian Emeralds versus Brazilian Emeralds. I'm going to be showing you guys standard commercial quality. Of course, Brazilian Emeralds can be just as beautiful as Colombian Emeralds if you go, you know, for finer quality. But we're just going for commercial. What the mines typically produce in each country. So here I have some beautiful emerald cuts. These come from the beautiful mines of Chivor and Mina Real in Colombia. As you can see, they have beautiful color, medium green, medium saturation, and we also have some imperfections that are visible to the eye. Again, they have beautiful luster, primarily that's what Colombian emeralds from Chivor are known for, that bright, vibrant color, and some vivacious clarity. I gave you guys an example of how the production would look if you look at a rough gemstone from the same um, region in Colombia. So here's a rough emerald. If you were to facet this type of quality, it would somewhat look similar to these three gemstones here. If we take a look at the rough specimen, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a close up. Um, this emerald does have multiple fractures within the gemstone, making it difficult to cut. So this is why we kept it as a collector specimen. This gemstone is not suit to be cut. If this gemstone is cut, um, the gemstone would be very tiny. It wouldn't be worth the cut. So again, that's why we kept it in this type of stage. Um, so again, this is a quality that is produced if we were to cut this and this had better clarity. Here are some uh, very low quality rough that are produced from Colombia. This is the lowest I think you could go. Uh, I'm not taking them out of the bag because they're very tiny, but again, we see some, some clarity in these gemstones. They still have that medium green color. They're not too dark. So here I have some already faceted, this is very commercial, this is what Brazil typically, you know, produces the majority. Not to say that they do not produce beautiful emeralds, because I also have a beautiful Brazilian emerald that I would like to show you guys towards the end of the video, so hold on tight for me. So you guys can see that the color is very dark, the gemstones tend to be opaque, and we do see inclusions. An example of how this comes about is if we take a look at these rough gemstones here if we hold these up to the light there's no clarity there's no transparency you, you basically can't see through the stone this ultimately would lead to this once you facet it <clears throat> again this is commercial let's compare how the Colombian versus the commercial Brazilian looks let me show you a better one. So we see a lack of life, lack of clarity. Um, luster is also dull. The color is medium, but again, it's not a stone you'd like to put in, a, um, in an engagement ring, to say the very least. Uh, I don't really have many pieces to show of a Brazilian because we are Colombian emeralds. We don't really, you know, buy Brazilian just because it's what we do, Colombian. So just in fairness of the game, I'm going to show you a beautiful Brazilian emerald that I do have in stock at the moment. We don't typically carry Brazilian, but this emerald was so beautiful we couldn't pass it up. And let me put it into view. So this is a beautiful Brazilian, Brazilian that we have. Uh, this emerald weighs 3.97 carats. You do see a beautiful green color, beautiful transparency. There is one minor imperfection, which is right here in the corner. Let me put this down, see if you guys can get like a nice close up of this gemstone. It's a beautiful Brazilian emerald. This goes to show that this commercial quality here, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't define the entire quality of the Brazilian. We have to also consider that Brazil does produce beautiful gemstones. Mm -hmm. 